Hard Chockies, Cheryl and Bands here. I'm back at it again with another Arias Awards Red Carpet Review. If you didn't ask for it, tough shit because you're getting it anyway. Now for all my American and uh, Pommy Chuckies watching at home, I'll just quickly break it down for you again. The Arias Awards is like the Australian Grammys. Actually, it's more like um like the Australian Brit Awards, except we don't pretend like it's some big deal. You know, we're very realistic. There's fewer delusions of grandeur. We're very aware that it's like the Small Business Awards of Australian music sort of thing. This year was very weird for the red carpet. I didn't know a lot of faces. There was no Sophie Monk. There was no Samantha J. Basically, there was no one from a Australian singing game show where you win a record contract and fade into obscurity sort of thing. And of course, it was the typical mishmash of looks. It was like the organisers sent out 30 different dress codes. Some looked like they were going to the, the VMAs, the, the Timu VMAs. Other people looked like they were going to the Year 10 Formal at Dapdo High School. And then others, they just looked like they were getting locked up in Odyssey House for the night. So anyway, having said all that, um, I did the best I could. I didn't know who any bastard was, so I just grabbed a random bunch of photos from the red carpet and I'm going to judge them for you right now. Let's get into it. Okay, now we've got L Lucia Hawley. <coughs> Apparently this is Nicole Kidman's niece. So we've got a Nepo baby. But this one is a Nepo baby of a Nepo sister. So that's quite interesting. So yeah, it's Lucia Hawley if you didn't know. Neither did I. Um, I look at this and I just think she's in a simple little black dress. Um, she's probably trying to blend in. She somehow infiltrated the event. She didn't want to make a scene. You know, didn't want to draw attention to herself. And I just think, why fucking bother, Lucia? But anyway, um, blend in all you want. I just think, try harder than this. I'm going to give you a 4 out of 10. Next, we've got Missy Higgins. Um, she looks okay in this long black dress. She's just kind of there, isn't she? It's not really spectacular or memorable. She looks nice enough, but it's very obvious she knew that she was getting the Hall of Fame award. So she thought, why am I going to fucking bother trying to impress people? I'm already getting the award. But yeah, not memorable, not terrible. I'm going to give her a 5 out of 10. There you go, Misty. Next, we've got Millie Ford. Um, TikTok royalty apparently. During COVID, I saw her doing TikToks. Um, she seems to have a lot of love for a lot of people I know, but for some reason, she's ignored me on my TikTok site, on my Instagram site. She she won't ever bar me. But today, it's not about that. I don't want any drama. Let's just judge the fashion, okay? Uh, she looks nice. I guess she's got a little flower top. A uh, little flower skirt. You know, on TikTok they make all these videos which are designed to spark your brain for about five seconds and then you forget about it. And that's very much the same as this look now. Yeah, you'd look at it and go, okay, and then on to something more spectacular. So based on that, I'm going to give Tilly Ford a 4 out of 15. Yeah, but anyway, um, Millie Ford, if, if you want to inbox me, um, I, I don't bite. Thank you. Next we have Vera Blue. And surprise, surprise, she's wearing a black dress. Were they all doing Me Too or something this year? And I just didn't realise. But yeah, I think she looks beautiful. You know, very moody, very witchy. She looks like a ringer Madeline Stowe has just climbed out of a pile of um, soot. From 12 Monkeys, have you seen that one with Madeline Stowe and Bruce Willis? That's what she reminds me of. Probably something a little bit more amazing than soot, but that's the first thing that come to my mind sort of thing. But yeah, I love this. I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10. Thank you. Uh, Emma Wiggle, black dress. 
Surprise, surprise. Maybe they're all feeling a little bit out of shape this year because black is actually very slimming sort of thing. You can tell she's trying to shake that like little Miss Goody Two Shoes fucking teacher's pet bullshit. She's trying to do something a little bit more sluttier but uh, at the same time I think Emma Wiggle needs to try a little bit harder than this because I really can't see guys chomping at the bit to get to this but it's nice enough. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. Okay. Next we've got Troy Savan, the gay guy. Yeah, I think he looks nice. It reminds me of a guy what has turned 18 and he's for the first time ever he's going to watch the races at Rose Hill with the other guys that what know all about hunting and you know, they all drink and then this one drinks too much and then they've got to look after him for the rest of the night because he's throwing up on himself and everyone's getting videos of him rolling around on the ground sort of thing. Yeah, but I like it. He's not trying too hard. He hasn't put in a lot of effort. And I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Good work, Troy. Next, we've got a gorgeous girl. What is called? TK. She looks fucking mad. Look at her. Big gold safety pin up the front. She looks like an absolute fucking superstar. I love the texture of everything. I love the way what it catches the light. And I love the way what it's the arias. And she's basically saying, you don't need to go to fucking America. To be iconic. She looks a million dollars and I love the way she doesn't actually look like she's going to a wedding like most of the people will go to the Arias Awards. 10 out of 10 Australian celebrities take fucking note. This is an icon. It's not a misuse of the word iconic like we love to do in this country. 2K I'm on your side. Inbox me. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Next we've got Henna Conda, <laughs> or as I love to call her, Henna the Second. Yeah, because she can't seem to win Paul's race and she's always coming second. Yeah, but I love this. Like, if you close your eyes and squint at it, the shape of it actually looks like, you know, like the money bags what come at the Chinese restaurant. It's like the little spring roll ball sort of thing. That's what this reminds me. Yeah, but it looks absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Next, we've got the the Queen Kong. Um, I think she looks absolutely amazing with that big uh, thing what's on her head. Um, I feel like I've seen this before. Wait a minute, won't you? <coughs> Shit. She's already worn this. Um. Well, that's a big no-no. You never wear something twice on a red carpet. Um. Sorry, Queen. I'm going to have to mark you down on this one. I'm giving you an eight out of ten. All right. It would have been a nine. Um. But yeah. Next up, we have. Amy Shark. Um, yeah, she looks nice. Um, I guess this is just like her music. It's it's perfectly fine. I like the necklace. I'm not sure if she is a Christian or if she's just showing off. But I think the cross looks quite good. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. Next we've got Sarah Ellen. Um, I hate to say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous, but I don't know who this lady is. She could be walking down the street and I wouldn't know a thing. Um, sorry to this lady, but I, I, I'll give her a, a 7 out of 10. Next we've got Charlie. Um, I don't know who she is as well but she looks like a star the blue hair she looks like a like a slutty sort of Marge Simpson so I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10 thank you okay next we have uh, Christian 
Wilkins, so another Nepo baby. He's wearing a, a beautiful black dress and it looks like there's like a tomato or something around the neck. I'm not sure if that's to distract from the lip filler, but um, obviously he should have got it a few weeks before the event. Give it time to settle down. But I think he looks uh, very sexy and, and masculine in, in, in a, a gown that's obviously made for a much um, softer body this one confuses me because i'm not sure if i want to buy him a drink or a sandwich but um it looks nice i'm going to give him a six out of ten now we've got peach prc she's in this gorgeous pink mesh thing with the fucking g banger hanging out the top like fucking luda from the wwe absolutely iconic she's flawlessly doing the arius awards red carpet she looks ethereal and she's got that beautiful thing what men love where it looks like the outfit could just fall apart in three seconds. Um, 10 out of 10. No notes, Peach PRC. You've fucking done it again. Keep on being iconic. Keep on showing this country that we can actually have nice things. Um, okay, so the last time I did a Arius Awards review... Um, we had a big star, we had uh, Harry Styles, but this year we don't. We've only got Ava Max and she's wearing this like shimmery bronze dress sort of thing. Very boring, very safe, but honestly like she doesn't know where the fuck she is. Why would she want to waste a good look on the Arias Awards? So I don't blame her. Um, for what it is, it, it really isn't bad. Ava, it's not your fault. We are the problem. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Uh, next we've got... <gasps> Femi! 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 <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. She looks like a fucking forest witch or something. She's giving very white witch, uh, whimsical and rustic. I'm not sure if she is a witch, but if she's making fun of my religion, I'm going to bring this down to a 6 out of 10. Next we've got Barker. That's an interesting name. I think she looks nice. I'm not sure if she was nominated for Arias Award, but, you know, any shorter and she would be presenting us with a cervix. <laughs> No, but honestly, I love this and I think she looks good. And guys love slutty shit, so they would love this as well. But yeah, she's bold, she's confident, she's showing off, and I'm going to give her an 8 out of 10. Good work, Barker. Uh, next, we've got Artemis. Couldn't give a fuck what he's wearing, but I know underneath is a 10 out of 10, so that's all there is to it. 10 out of 10, Artemis. Love you. Sexy little cunt. Okay, and now we've got... Pena. I don't know nothing about her, but she's clearly showing us that she's the fucking one to watch, isn't she? Look at her. She looks incredible. She's saying, yeah, I'm the new bitch on the scene. You don't know anything about me, but you better go and ask someone. Look, I'm definitely going to go on my Spotify and have a look at this Pena because she looks like she's got something interesting to say. Once again, I have no notes, and this is a 10 out of 10. Anyway... I'm sorry, I thought that was going to be a lot more amazing, but Australian music industry, it is what it is. Hopefully within a few years, I will be there to contribute, not only in the fashion, but also in creating art and meaningful music. But anyway, I've got a migraine, so let's just leave it at that. You can actually add me on my Instagram site, at Sherilyn Barnes, so go and do that right now or very soon, please. Go to SherilynBarnes.com where you can buy my fragrances. I've got all different fragrances on there what you can buy. Make sure you click subscribe and make sure you give this YouTube a like and also share the bastard as well, please. Let's leave it at that. Big pussy kiss. And ciao for now, my chookies. We've been friends for so long. Bye.